All right, in this segment, I'm going to talk about author queries using the comments tool in Word 2007. In the previous segment, I showed how I selected a long sentence, deleted it after copying it, and then edited the blue copied text into three plain language sentences. Well, the author reviewing this may be puzzled at first about what's going on, and after looking at it for uh, half a minute or so, they'd probably figure out what I had done. But it would help, particularly if they're not familiar with my editing habits, uh, if I would put a query to tell them what I'd done. And I would put it on the strikethrough text, probably, because that's the first thing they're going to see. So I select the strikethrough text, and I have my review tab selected, so my comment is right here. On my usual computer, I also have a shortcut key for inserting a comment, so I don't have to be looking at the reviewing tab to be able to manipulate all the track changes options. Uh, because I put all those essential tools on my quick, uh, quick reference toolbar, which in this copy of Word 2007 is up here in the default location next to the uh, office button, but you could move this down uh, and that's simply by picking this little, selecting this little uh, drop down arrow here and saying show below the ribbon and once it's down here below the ribbon you can add any of these things here just by saying add to quick access toolbar so I can put my comment button right there um, I can also create a, a shortcut key for that, but that's a whole other process I won't get into right now. Um, anyway, I've selected my strike through text if I want to add a comment. Right now I've got this set up to show the comments in balloons. And my balloon options are up here. I have only the comments in formatting appearing in balloons, but I've turned off the formatting. So it's just going to show the comments. Uh, you could also use the reviewing pane if you preferred. You can have it in the left panel over here. You can have it uh, underneath. And you can create shortcut keys to hide and show the reviewing pane. Um, probably most of you will want to show your queries. Uh, in comments in balloon text, but be aware that that, uh, for some jobs, would make the formatted text look really uh, off because Word basically creates a page within a page, uh, scales down your page and makes everything in the content area smaller in order to make room for your comments over here. But anyway, my comment would be something pretty simple like uh, uh, Type the AU colon as author. Uh, very typical of editors to address queries that way when they're working with an author they don't really know. Um, so author Now, I could just state what I've done, um, but I could also add some explanation or a rationale or justification. It really will all depend on your relationship to the author um, and how much explaining you think you need to do. But remember that in most cases, the author has the uh, control of the text at the end, uh, so they can reject your change if they want. Uh, I feel like in this case, the change should speak for itself. And if they want to choose to have this long 53-word sentence with uh, several embedded clauses and phrases, that's their choice, but I've shown them a way to make it uh, quite simple. Now, if they wanted to come in and edit for style in the blue text, of course, uh, they might take that as a third way. Uh, speaking of style, just a little illustration that uh, adding a couple words changes the whole tone of the thing. Uh, 